I'm willing to bet. Magic. Here's what we're gonna do today, some magic tricks. Number one. Number one magic trick. We're gonna be playing the G major scale. Nice and easy. And you're gonna play it however you want. You can go. Whatever you want to do, you know? But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some tricks. And you're not gonna change what you're doing. You can do you can play however you want, wherever you want in the fretboard. As long as you're just playing that G major scale. And I'm gonna take you through the mode sounds. It's as simple as this. It's a little science um experiment I use. No, fuck that. No, it's not a science experiment. That's for fucking nerds. We're not nerds. We're a cool magician, so for today, being a cool magician guy, what we're going to do is we're going to do cool stuff, not a science experiment. It's going to be a magic trick. A magic trick, all right? So here's how it goes. You guys play the G major scale like a bunch of bitches. Bitches? No, you're not bitches. Just do it. Play the major scale. Go like... Don't like try to avoid a bunch of notes or don't try to play arps or anything. Just play through the scale kind of. So while you're doing that, I'm gonna make it sound like G Ionian. Play along, just go, just do your, your scale stuff. All right, cool. Now keep playing, don't stop. Now, um, while you're playing the same stuff, I'm going to make it sound like A Dorian. No, don't try to play A Dorian. Just play your G major scale like you've been. Like a bunch of bitches. And here's how this is going to go. I'm going to go... Cool. So that's your A Dorian sound. So you forgot. Playing your G major up to your best ability, you sound like A Dorian. Next, we're going to do Phrygian. So B Phrygian. So keep doing your G major scale. All right, so we're going to go. So that's your your B Phrygian sound. Next, we're gonna do the C Lydian. Just keep playing your G major scale. Do your G major scale things, however you're doing. And while you do that, here's your Lydian sound. Seven eight that motherfucker. All right, so next, that's got a pragmatic. Next, we're gonna do that mixolydian. That's right. Here's how that goes: D mixolydian. So do, do your G major scale, right? And I'm gonna go. So there's your D mix Lydian. All right, 
what people that are stupid call E minor. It's E Aeolian. Uh, it's gonna. This is the next one. So E Aeolian. So that's your EA only. And next, this is going to be a weird one. This is the last one, actually. And then I'm going to show you a trick. Another magic, special magic trick from me. Uh, first, we're going to do this thing. It's called the horrible sound Locrian. It's going to be... So that's your F sharp minor 755, which forces your low cream sort of sound. So what does this tell you? What did my magic trick tell you? Well, it should tell you that I'm awesome at teaching you guys music theory, because I have I none of these other guys have magic tricks, no matter how they're how good they are. They don't got these tricks, they ain't got them, they is ain't cool. So next, what we're going to do. Wait, I forgot, I gotta be more of a magician. Next. Do magicians talk? They don't talk. They have a. Do they have a? Yeah, they talk. They say, "Hey guys, I'm gonna come out here, and I'm gonna cut women in half, while you watch, watch me do it, because that's normal, and no no kids will ever be frightened by that." I'm gonna I'm gonna make it sound like harmonic minor while you guys play the G major scale. Now, here's the thing: it's not actually working. It's it's just a mind trick, a Jedi. Mind trick, like Hans Sulu might play. It goes like this. I'm gonna cause your mind to be tricked. So here, you do G major scale, you know the whatever, and I'm gonna go. So when I hit this chord. It sounds like, even though you're not doing that, because my chord contains that magical third note in the chord itself that causes your augmented fifth to happen on your G major scale, bitches. So here's your G major scale, and my note that in my chord makes it sound like this. That's pretty cool. Alright, one thing that you should remember is that this works because modes are very simple. Not the complex nonsense people try to teach. It really doesn't have anything to do with what note you start or end on as far as your melody playing, unless that's all that's going on. What it has to do with is very simple, scientific, and it's universal. It always works. It's always this one basic thing. Wherever that tonal center falls within the scale that you're using is your mode sound. That's it. Problem is, people think that if they change the position on the guitar where they're playing, that somehow that's changing their mode. They think they, could, they, they, they think they could change the mode sound over a chord progression. You can if it's an extremely sparse chord progression. All right, and you, you, you could still do it and force it, but it usually won't sound that good. Or it doesn't sound like a new mode, it sounds like you just suck, is basically what's gonna happen. All right, and here's why. When you play chord progression, those chords contain, you said it, that's right, notes. And those notes all come together to form, that's right, you got it, a scale. And guess what else happens? That chord progression is emphasizing this pattern of where it repeats, where it feels like it's moving towards. And if there's a note that happens a little bit more often within that chord progression or bass line, there's a little bit of extra emphasis that maybe that's your tonal center. It doesn't mean it is, but there's it's high probability. And then if it's the first chord or the last or both, 
there's a, even another chance, another probability that that's your tonal center. Scientifically, that's part of just part of why it works out. No, fuck that. No, it's not a science experiment. But the chord progression almost always tells you your scale and your tonal center. So as a lead guitar type of guy thinking you're doing some kind of modes, you're not doing shit, bitches. <laughs> the band, the backing track, the music that you've already written or composed on for chord progression. So that's that's the magic, right? That's where the chord progression in the that's where the that's the magic. That's where the mode sound comes from. So for now, let's just do the major scale. So if we do take the G major scale, if your tonal center is the first note of the G major scale, that's called the Ionian mode sound that's going to happen. If the tonal center is the second note, that's your Dorian. If it's the third note, that's Phrygian. Fourth note, that's Lydian. Fifth note, that's Mixolydian. Sixth note, as your tonal center, is your Aeolian. People call it the minor scale, which is dumb, because we don't need to rename it a scale. It's already a mode. We already have our G major scale. Let's not be stupid. Let's not be stupid shall we okay so next and the last one is your seventh note which is called the locrian mode which sounds like a bunch of aliens trying to attack and i don't care for it much it gives me stress but it's kind of neat in its own weird super tense nobody actually uses it in a song way unless you're joe satriani and you think oh yeah oh wait shit i better not play joe satriani copyright infringement again on my youtube and then all of a sudden Guess what happens, dudes? I'm gonna start deleting my fucking videos. So uh, people start saying, hey, copyright infringement. He did a cover of my song. He can't do covers of my song. Guess what happens? F your song, f my covers. I'll delete my shit. Not even a second thought about it. I, got, I, I make my own music, dudes. My make, I make my own magic music. You bitches ain't nothing but a bunch of tricks. Ain't nothing but for kids. All right. Check. One, two, motherfucker. We should do one of those songs about magicians. What is that? I get up, I can't slow down. Abra, Abra, Cadabra. I wanna reach out and grab it. What's the other song? I can read your mind. I can read your mind. I don't know how they even go. That's not about magicians. That's just some f up song. Um, is that some Alan Parson project? names their band a project you know what we should do we should make a band together call it wizard team if i had a band named wizard team we would decimate everybody everybody would go out to see this band and be like dude i'm going i don't know what you're doing tonight i don't know if you're being you're probably gonna watch some super bowl nonsense i'm gonna watch wizard team they're going to say, what is Wizard Team? What's that? And you don't have to tell them. It could be our secret because Wizard Team is way cooler than the Super Bowl. That's what you need to know. That's the important information today. Nerd Sessions number seven. Sometimes magicians wear sunglasses. Sometimes they don't. Da. Da. Shut my own. Da. Shut my own. Da. Da. Shut my own. Da. 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 Shut my own. Da. Da. Why don't you hit that subscribe button? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button now. Jedi. 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 Sulu. Sulu. Can. 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 Sometimes.
I play video games, and I use my magic tricks to defeat the high score list, or I go to the registry, and I change the high scores manually, and then everybody gets upset because they know my score is not even possible, and they're like, what? I'm out.